Dale Jr. is on his way. Have no fear. Dale Jr. is on his way. He's actually, he's not late. He's in the school drop-off line, which is where we want him right now because this is giving us an opportunity that we've never had on the Dale Jr. download. And that is, for the next 15 minutes, Amy Earnhardt uninterrupted. Amy, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Amy, you are here because if I have this right, Dale Jr. told me the other day that sometimes you will listen to the Dale Jr. download or catch a video on social and you'll see or hear him tell a story and you're like, that is not how it happened. 100%. He embellishes. He likes to embellish. He's always, you know this about him. He likes to do that. He'll do it in your presence, knowing that you know the truth, just to get just to get more of a reaction. That's just who he is. He likes everyone to be entertained. Um, so yeah, that happens quite a bit, actually. Or, or he has a warped sense of reality. Well, that probably is true too. I think that's probably a little true to that. I think there <laughs> yeah. is. And b- by the way, he wouldn't be alone. That's men. I think, I think that- men, husbands especially. Sometimes our reality, our vantage points are skewed. Well, that's really good self-awareness, Mike. Well, listen, I know it because I hear Dale, and I'm like, that's bull crap. I (laughs) I know that ain't how it happened. Although, I will tell him, he tells a story on Tuesday about you surprising him with the cryo tank, the cryotherapy. Right. I mean, we butchered this story. We first of all called it a Cairo. That's what he called it when he walked up to see the sign. I think he was so nervous, too, he couldn't even get his tongue to do the right thing, you know? So uh, if there's a story that he's told that I think is accurate, the closest thing to accurate, it's him (laughs) hating (laughs) for 10 seconds the cryo tank. Yeah. Or the cryo chamber. Yeah, we sat in there for three minutes. Here's what I want to do today. Before Dale gets here, Mm -hmm. I want to hear your version of this thing. Before Dale gets here. Now, when he gets here... I then want to hear that I think you guys did the ice bath that he mentioned on on uh, Tuesday's episode. He said that he was going to, with you, try an ice bath at the house. Yes. And did that happen? Yes. Okay, we're going to save that for you and Dale telling that together. Okay. First, give us your version of the cryotherapy, starting with your surprising of him. Okay, so the only reason I wanted to do this, it's not something I would typically sign up for to do by myself. I don't like being cold either. But he keeps getting these Instagram ads, you know, the ads. <laughs> Wait, he, the algorithm knows that he's a potential He has talked for- about it at least <laughs> once or twice. And so he's getting all of these ads for these different types of um, ice bath things that you can just put on your back porch, inflatables. I'm like, you can't fit in that. It's 20 bucks. It's going to fall apart. Well, that doesn't matter. Why are you buying this stupid thing? Why do you care about this? And he's getting these ads so often. Now he's really wanting one, right? But did he buy one? He didn't. And that's the reason he didn't is because I tricked him into doing cryotherapy. Oh. He had um, an obligation for NBC, and I knew it was in the area of Burkdale and that there was a cryo chamber okay. place in Burkdale. Okay. And so instead of telling him to meet me at the address, I just said, meet me over there by the theater in Burkdale at three o'clock. And he loves a surprise. So he was tickled to death that I was going to surprise him in the middle of the week, in the middle of the day. So he didn't hesitate whatsoever to accept. And so we get to the, th- the theater and I start filming him immediately because he's excited and nervous, but he can't guess what we're doing. He well, thinks, as he said on Tuesday, he thinks you're about to day drink. He thinks we're going to go have a date. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, we're going to go eat sushi. Are we going to have, <laughs> oh, the movie theater. We're going to go watch a movie. That's awesome. I haven't been to the movies in so long. Mario Brothers. <laughs> oh, are there is Oh, there's bars over here. I haven't seen that one before. <laughs> like <laughs> You don't have any clue what we're doing. Going to the movies? Nope. Is that your only, only guess? We're at Burkdale. You told me to meet you over here. Going to eat sushi? Nope. And then we get past this little spice place, and uh, he sees the cryotherapy, which he calls chirotherapy. And I'm like, we're going in. He goes, what's chirotherapy? It's an ice chamber. Um, You've been telling me you want to do an ice bath. He goes like, no, you know, his typical typical response. Yeah. Like, oh, uh uh-huh. We're going in. What's next? (laughs) Savory and spice? Nope. Chiro. Therapy? Yep. What's that? You've been telling me you want an ice bath. Oh no! <laughs> Are you serious? Yep. You brought me here to do an ice bath? <laughs> You're gonna get in a cryotherapy chamber. Oh, <laughs> Three minutes, you can uh-huh. do it. And so we, you don't have to have an appointment. We just dropped in and we did it together. You have to completely get naked, except for your underwear. 
If you do not have any, they will give you some. Oh, wow. I know. Community underwear. Community underwear. What could go wrong? So you have to wear a beanie if you're a man and a, and a head wrap for if you're a woman. They want your ears covered. Okay. Um, you get socks and you get slippers. And then you get a robe. So you can go in the cry- cryo ch- cry- no, I'm saying it like he's saying it. The yeah. cryo chamber by yourself or you can go in together. Of course, we went in together. And um, we did level one, which is negative 145. Yeah, stop right there. I is that an accurate statistic? That almost sounds like a NASCAR loop stat, uh, where it's like, you know, they're trying to convince us that there was 2,000 green flag passes. That seems like an, a ridiculous, that feels like a non-survivable number. I agree. It does. But, I mean, so that's level one. They say level four is t- negative 200. See, that's even- So as you sit in there, it does get colder. There's, a, there's like wind blowing, and it will get more intense. It's almost oh. like you're in a blizzard. Oh, you don't start out there. It, it eases into a Well, I think once you open the door, it just lets some of the cold out, you know what I mean, like the refrigerator. Oh, gotcha. So you have to walk in. There's this giant door. And, and what are you, are you sitting on a bench? No, you stand in the middle. You stand. Like a popsicle in the freezer. Okay, now give a play-by-play of Dale Jr. As, from the moment he walks in. Um, he walks in, and he stands right next to the front door. And he lets me do all the talking. And then the lady's like giving us both some paperwork to fill out. So he sits down and he's trying to fill out his paperwork. <laughs> and um, I get mine done first. So he's already he's like, Ugh, you're <laughs> he's frustrated. He didn't get a, a chance to wrap his head around what's about to happen, which is, is kind of something you want to do. That's the way you want to do You want to mentally prepare, um, which I got to do. So I'm excited. I'm laughing. I'm just laughing at him. The girls are laughing at him because I called them in advance and said, this is what's going to happen. Um so we get checked in. They take us back to the locker room, and we get undressed, and we get in our robes. And he looks at me, and he's like, ah, this is going to really suck. I'm like, it's going to suck for three minutes. You can do this. You know what I mean? Like, it's just three minutes, three minutes. of your life. And so we went in there, and uh, you hang your robe up as soon as you get in, and you just stand and try not to touch the walls. It's not a big room. It's really small. It's literally like standing in a refrigerator box. Wow. So yeah. It's that small. Yeah. yeah. And... He's, and the two of you are in the same room together. We're in the same one together. I start breathing almost like, you know, Lamaze labor breathing. Oh, like. Cause a- just like big, deep, slow yeah. breaths. <laughs> and he immediately starts huffing and puffing and his whole body is trembling. And he's like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. And so there's this light tube, by the way, that's up both sides of the door. And it's got this little white bar. And it goes up and up and up as your time is going. This is how you know when it's time to get out. Oh, this is a t- like a time meter. Yeah. It's like a clock. Yeah. So every 20 seconds, the light, the white will get higher and higher. And he's like, f*** this. F*** this. And he's throwing his arms. And how, how far into it are we? Oh, 20 seconds. That's it. It's, he was about, if I had not been in that room with him, he would have busted out of that thing and run out without his he, robe to the to the locker room. And right. he said that. He's like, if you had not been standing in there, my ass would have been running he's, out he's in streak, my underwear. He's streaking in Burkdale. <laughs> uh, all right. So he says, F- this. Yeah. 20 seconds in. I'm like, you got this. Just breathe. It's okay. And he's like, my back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> my back it reminds me of that scene in uh, Friday when the dude's on the ground. He's like, my neck, my back, my neck and my back. <laughs> he's trying to claim that he's got, like, freezer burn on his back. He didn't touch the walls. There's no way he did. You know what I mean? He's not, like, got a hairy back either. There's nothing to freeze. I know, but I could absolutely understand the feeling of burn uh, in something that cold, right? Like, that's... Mine didn't. You didn't. You, 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 you were fine. Okay, so we're 20 seconds in. I think he's just trying to make up every... He had mentally plummeted as soon as he walked in there you have to no 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 i i think he mentally plummeted before he walked in right before he walked in the front door he was pretty much upset about and then when he walked in the door it confirmed his (laughs) mentally plummeting yeah yeah and by the way i think i would be on his i I would be the same way i so i'm not i'm not faulting the guy but i am enjoying the (laughs) this this imagery right now okay so you're 20 seconds in all right Mm -hmm. now what happens I don't remember. So like the next two minutes is almost like me just trying to calm him down and watching the bar go up. I'm like, you got this. You got. I feel like if I had been in there by myself and didn't have him as a distraction, I might have wanted to get out a little sooner too. Okay. But him being such a t- baby <laughs> <laughs> really, really was entertaining. We were dying laughing. The girls out front could hear us cackling in this, in okay. this chamber. So y'all were laughing. We were laughing chamber. our asses off. And he was sh- like, when I tell you he was shaking, every inch of his body was bouncing and jumping all over the place because he could not sit still. It was amazing. 
Okay, so how long did y'all last? We lived the whole three minutes. Oh, my god. We did not quit. No, we didn't quit. You weren't going to let that happen? No. He wasn't going to let it happen either with me in there with him. Okay, as an aside, if he wasn't in there, how long do you think? Would you have gone the full three minutes? I probably would have. I probably would not have had um, as easy of a time, though. Like, he distracted the shit out of me, so he, it was helpful. So that was actually helpful? For me, yeah. It was entertainment? Very entertaining. Okay, so you go the full three minutes, and you're watching that light yeah. meter. As soon as it top. gets to the last, we have one twenty second increment left, he grabs his robe, and he's holding it, and he's ready to jump out. Yeah. So as soon as it hit, he opened the door, and then I grabbed mine. But we did it. Yeah, it was well, or, But yeah, but then... The post chamber experience also seemed just as traumatic for him. Really? Well, he was talking about these compression boots and that his body was shaking, and that's when the burn started setting in. Oh my and god! <laughs> oh, is that not what happened? Tell us what happened. He looked like he was about to fall asleep, except for all of his texting to you. Like you can't believe what she just did to me. He immediately got on the phone and was telling all of his friends what he just did. Yeah. That's what I love about it. Yeah. Uh, you got to love it. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So, so the, bo- the boots are tight and they're long. So like my legs are not very long. I'm only five, three. So they were squeezing all kinds of things. They weren't supposed to squeeze when they got to the top. Cause she makes you zip them up. They're so high. She gets zips yeah. you up halfway and then you zip for the rest of the way. So you lay in the, bo- in this chair that reclines for what seems like 20, at least 20, if not 30 minutes. It felt really long compared to the three-minute torture that we just went through. Okay. But it's, it massages you really, really deeply to try to get your blood flow back up. And it's relaxing. You, if you weren't distracted in that moment, you could fall asleep. It was, it was nice. So on the scale of man card here, I feel like Dale revoked his man card the day he and Duggar got Manny Petties. Like that, that'll always stick out to me. That video of like that. Duggar gets a manicure and a pedicure every week. I'm sure he does. Yeah. But I remember the video of them not only just getting Manny Petties, but they were giggling and tickling. Because it tickled. tickles. Right, right, right. <laughs> does this, what was, what, what's more revoking of a man card? That or what happened in this cryo tank? Dale's behavior. The, the manicure and pedicure for okay. sure. Okay. So you, you actually, are you a little bit there was another. There was another guy that went right in front of us. He didn't giggle when he was in the chamber, but he was by himself, Ooh. and he must go quite often. He looked like he was working out, and he had just come from a workout. Apparently, that's what you're supposed to do. That is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine doing any of this ice therapy with, without the workout in front of it. Like, that would be the only thing. Isn't it supposed to help you recover? Yeah. Y'all were just recovering. Y'all weren't recovering. This was, a, this was a smart ass choice that I made to try to keep him from putting a damn ice bath on the back porch. But then y'all end up doing it. Or bu- building another room in the house for an ice therapy session. Oh, you know right. how he is. Yeah. Honey, I need to build another garage because I, I want an ice bath. He's ridiculous. Yeah. He also just arrived. Oh, great. Dale Jr., welcome to your show. <laughs> <laughs> Dale Jr.'s here. I've been listening. It's Have like, you heard this? Yeah. It's, what? Like, it's like you don't remember none of our conversations we had yet. No, no. I, I need to hear Amy's version of it. I and are you saying that Amy wasn't telling the complete truth? Or? You. Me? Yes. I, I said, I'm sitting there listening, and I'm like, he doesn't remember anything we talked about. No, I do. But, like, she gives a lot more detail, and a lot, she puts us in the chamber. You just told us, you know, it sucked. Yeah. F- this. Okay. I don't want it. All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, but you're saying this. All right, listen, listen. To be honest with you, if you want to know the truth of it, and I said this on Tuesday— Women are just way more tougher than we are. We, yeah, we agreed and on that. More tougher. Is that not right? No. They're just tougher? More tough or tougher. More tough? All right, there you go. They're also grammatically superior. Annoying. Tools. Grammatically annoying. <laughs> so then <laughs> Sorry, you said that it. you thought if you didn't do this, Dale Jr. would just go create an ice bath in the house. But then this is exactly what y'all did, right? Well, so here's the thing with the ice bath. After we did the cryo thing... Dale and I went to Sullivan's. We had some things to do for the construction we're doing down there. So we got a night away. A few beers in. I text Mitch Phillips. Oh, you did that while we were sitting there? Yeah. So we're sitting in the bar, and I text Mitch Phillips. I'm like, you know, Mitch, those cow troughs that they sell at the farmer's supply? I need you to get me one of those and put it on the back porch. He's like, all right. I'm like, we're going to do an ice bath. He goes, that's what I use for mine. It's going to be perfect. Of course, Mitch Phillips does ice bath, (laughs) right? right? So he delivered one. To the back porch. Unbeknownst to me, so I look out the back window and there's this tub. And I knew exactly what it was for. Yeah. It's a big, yeah. shiny, silver tub yeah. just said, waiting oh. for us to jump in. I said, what? what, what? 
<laughs> we doing that? And she goes, yep. So, okay, so side note. I felt like we had to. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess so. I, I got a text when I got out of the Grand Canyon from you. Like, it was one of the first texts that I got when I returned to the land of the living, which means sales service. And it was like, between you and I, we're doing an ice bath. You got to be there. You got to see this. Do you remember texting me this? Nope. Okay. Well, so you that did. must have been right after I text Mitch. Okay. Uh, but I didn't get it till much later after you'd sent it. So I didn't reply. Okay. Well, usually, that's not surprising anyway, really Mike. You don't ever reply to my text messages. Usually I'm really messages. good at text replies. Oh, so good. You're so bad at so, communication. So, uh, so you guys do it. Now, Dale said you guys were going to do it on Tuesday's episode. I got to hear how it went. Well, we fit that in yesterday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was absolutely... Can I say f- I just did. We already have. It's absolutely f***ing miserable. Yeah. Is it worse than the cryo tank? Beyond. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. So that was <clears throat> when we started, we did the box and the lady was like, wasn't she saying the ice bath was worse? Way worse. Yeah. She said, I've done both. It is way worse. I'm like, in, in my mind. I That's think a Amy's, sales pitch, right? <laughs> you thought for sure she was just blowing smoke because she wanted no. you to come back. I thought she was telling, I just assumed she was telling the truth and that instantly made me think, Ain't no way. I got to. I got to do it to see. That's impossible. That what I just did in the box was was miserable, and it's a minus 140 degrees. The ice bath is like 30 to 60 degrees something. I don't know, but it's not a minus 140. So now my interest is even more peaked because you know that was what I wanted to do from the get go. Intentional, you know, from the start was the ice bath because it's so easy to acquire everything you need. And I think Amy was as curious as I was, and that's why we ended up. She ended up getting the doing the leg work and getting the tub and so anyhow um i did some very very quick googling uh people are in those ice baths from two to 15 minutes you just kind of pick your pick your duration i think it's pretty dangerous you know you need to know a lot about your own physical condition and stuff as far as uh any issues you might have with blood clotting and whatever because it's going to restrict your veins in a very fast manner it's probably probably something you need to do a little homework on dr dale just saying it, it seems pretty it is it, it's it's, it's, it's insane it's intense as mm-hmm. hell and so you need to make sure that you don't have any issues Consul- consult your physician consult your doctor well, when dale. we went to the ice box we filled out all these oh we don't, i don't have this i don't have this kind of condition i don't have this issue i haven't had any ha- family history of this and x y and z right? i didn't read it i just checked all the boxes and so <laughs> we um <laughs> But anyways, I did some quick Googling, and it's like, okay, you know, you fill the tub halfway with water, so turn the spigot on, put the hose in there, go to town, start filling it up, and we need three five-gallon bags of ice, 15 gallons of ice. So mm. I called David uh, Pittman, one of my buddies on the farm, and I said, hey, man, bring over some a cooler full of ice. I said, I need about 15 gallons. He did. He brought all of, he brought 15 gallons of ice. Amy pulls in. I said, hey, it's all ready to go. We're doing it. Mm. I, I'll be, I went to pick up Isla. Where did I go? I don't know you where I went. Office. I had to go to the post office. I told Isla, I was like, I'm really getting nervous on the drive back home. I did not want to do this. Mm. I didn't want to do this from the beginning. I knew that he was going to hate it. This is why we started the cryo thing. You know, I've had my back thrown out a lot lately. And laying on that ice pack sucks. The thought of getting myself into an ice bath mm. felt yeah. ridiculous. It was easier to climb into the ice bath than it was the ice box for me. But anyways, I dumped all this ice in there. It was, uh, I know, you know, we're talking about, this seems like it isn't that big of a deal, but when you're standing next to that tub full of ice, and you know, you just put 15 gallons of ice in it, and it's already a cold water spigot from outside, trying to get yourself to climb in there. And you know, if you don't, if you put a foot in or a leg in, you're not going in. You oh, got to go right. all the way in, or you're not going in. You got to di- almost go quote unquote dive in, or you. Or so you'll that's get the out. thing. You'll, your your brain did, will tell yeah. you get out. Right. You, you can't do that with an ice bath. You physically can't fucking do that. I did. You have to put one foot in first. Well, yeah, you but can't I mean, just. I know, but di- I know what you're you saying. You don't though. cannonball in, right? No, no, but I mean, I'm just saying. I went. I said I'm going all the way to the to the shoulders, water level to the shoulders as fast as I can, because I knew if I. Stopped at the waist. I was going to chicken out and jump out. Feels a little like if you're bungee jumping. You know, if you you got to get up there and mentally prepare yourself to actually yeah. commit to getting off that thing. Or if you sit up there and think about it, you'll stay up there, right? I got in. So, Ten seconds is all I could do. And he I got all the way in. Yeah. He jumped, slid down to his shoulders, and like heavy huffed for 10 seconds and then jumped out. A, I, Amy's got it on her phone. 
Oh, you do? Yeah, we took a video, but we're both halfway naked, so I'm not showing you, Mike. But it's. But not even him. He saw it. No, no, no. he would. He, I want to see he him. Could, watch mine. Go ahead. Watch it. You could put the uh, mic. Just hand Here, it. The, here's what I think, though. The so I don't know. I think mentally preparing yourself yeah. is what made you get in there versus not having so much fun in that cryo chamber. You yeah. can't get into an ice bath without putting your feet in first and having to sh- force yourself the rest of the yeah. way in. With the cryo chamber, you walk straight in. It's That's not true. like a toe touches it. I, I know, mean, but as soon as you, I guess when I open that door to the cryo chamber, you feel that cold and you're looking at the damn interior, that box is frozen. And you're, and you're like, I've got to walk into this thing. You know, it's a very, it's a slower process where the ice bath was like, bam, I'm in. If that volume's turned off, you have to turn, turn it up. Turn the volume up. Yeah, you want to hear all that. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> and Isla's there Isla's with his the giggling. Yeah. <laughs> Are you cool? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, you didn't even get him. Get, uh, he gets out right after that? Yes. Hold on, I want to play it one more time. Oh. Isla's commentary is the best. <laughs> Are you cool? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Dude, it's so cold. It's so cold. So you know how when your your cooler's been sitting outside like yeah. all afternoon yes. and you have to get to the bottom of it for, with your arm to get that last beer? Uh, well, yeah, I, I've got a, a different example. Like when I'm I'm cleaning deer meat, right? Like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm pulling it out. It's been sitting in a cooler for a couple days and um, – and now I'm pulling. When you go in, it is so cold. It is like it is so cold. In fact, I of, often wear gloves just to do that because it's so cold at the bottom of that cooler. Same thing. That's yeah. what you mean. Can you put your ass in that? Can you put your neck in that? Can you get your whole body in that? That's what this feels, what about feels like. Your, what about your private parts? Can you put them down in that cooler with the beer? <laughs> I feel like you're not even thinking about your privates once you get your feet in there. <laughs> We're always thinking about our privates. Amy. <laughs> you know what's most sensitive for me when I go swimming? is my waistband. And like I I can go all the way in to my waist and then that's kind of where I get hung up in a yeah. swimming pool. Mm. And then I have to go, you know, I can get in with my legs all the way to my wa- waistband and from there from it just takes your breath away. Up, it's more sensitive, that, right? Yeah. But uh I think everybody's a little different there but I jumped in, I breathed hoping I breathe the only way that that breathing that you heard was like not voluntarily. <laughs> That was not a voluntary motion, man. That was happening. <laughs> Whether I could, I'm not controlling that. But I was hoping that the the shock of the cold and you know the 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 sensation would go, would chill, but it didn't chill. I had to get out. Well, but, but then honestly, look, wait. So right. Amy tries to get in a couple times. She I didn't want to do it to begin with. I literally told him yeah. I wasn't going. Oh, you going. went in after him. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. I tried to get it, get us to do it together, and he said that he wanted to do it first. Yeah. And she had a harder time, but eventually... I did not get anywhere past my waist. She got halfway in, come out, try it again, put a leg in, nope, He come heckled back me out. until I did it again. I would give her a hard time like saying... Like giving example. You what? can do it. Not heckling. I mean, you he can wasn't, do it. He wasn't cussing at me because I was saying it. You can do it. Encouraging you. You can do this. He can do this. You know how he is. He stares at you until you do Persistent. it. Persistent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Guilt treatment. There's a I lot of words. I just really wanted on. her to be able to come in here today and say, I've done it. This is the experience I had. I listen. She did. So wait, Go Mike. Ahead. So eventually, she's like, "We have a video of this part yeah. too." I said, "Hey, I'll do it again. I'll do it. I'll get back in there if you'll if you'll do it one time, right?" And she says, "Okay." And so she's like, "We're both going in at the same time." So we both climbed into the tub together. He pushed me in there. That's he not pushed true. my ass down. That's not true. Wait, a I minute. have it on video. I do. I, I so grabbed she, me, tried to hold me down no, underneath that water. Stop that. <laughs> So no, I, I get in it. all the I'm way to my. Mike. I get into my neck. She climbs in and just goes to pits. So she's got her shoulders out, and I just grabbed her shoulders and shoved her down. Is Ooh. that different than what I just said? Two inches. I, I pushed her down two inches. It ain't like a doctor. No, I think. Mike, yeah, I think that's exactly Mike? what Amy's trying to say. Well, I don't want people to get the opinion that I that I. Was he was going to make physical. sure this happened. Hold on. Now people are going to think I'm abusive. Oh please. <laughs> I 
and I oh, was. I didn't think you pushed her down that much. All right. It, yeah. f- it felt aggressive when you're in the ice <laughs> bath. No, I, I was just like, hey, no, you're not going to no, just and, pit. And, and he's you're in like... there with you. He's in there with you. So <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I thought. Yeah. Actually, I think that. Uh, yeah. I, I think you'd actually handled the ice bath way better. You, yeah. You, you I, said you did. Thank you. He did. So. I, I, I don't understand how he prefers that over the cryotherapy well, the chamber, is, but he says like, he does. <clears throat> All right, so they're right. The ice bath is harder by far. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. I got into the box and was able to, you know, thanks to you, stick it out for three minutes. Not a freaking chance. No. No chance. No. I'm getting beyond 10 seconds in that ice bath. No, not a chance you go uh, in. The only thing it, like the thing that I do find interesting is that I can get in the ice bath, in and out, in and out, as many times as you want me to, but I can't stay in there. Now, yeah. the ice box, I think if I got in it and then came out, I wouldn't go back in. They're two different things. They're yeah. very, very well, different. Well, it's, it's air versus yeah. water. So, yeah, of course, yeah. it's going to feel different. If I got out of that box, I would not go back in it. So here's the thing about the box, too, as we were standing in there. <clears throat> The vent started to blow the cold air out again. So she told us level one, you know, that's as cold as it gets. By the time you get up to level four, it's she said it's like a blizzard in there. It's like spitting out snow almost. There's like ice. No thanks. So did it get to one forty five or did it get to two hundred? Negative two hundred. Negative one forty five. It got to negative one forty five. That seems so hard to believe. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, I'm impressed. Sounds like Mike needs to go. Oh, hey, I, I you know what? I think that's a great idea. I think we should take this on the road. I thought we were going to have to apologize for talking too much about ice baths and, and cryotherapies, but no, man, we got one more segment in this out of this thing, and that's you going to the ice box. Well, no, I don't think I'm doing that. We still that. have a free pass. Yeah, you we are. Have a, we, have, we bought. Yeah, we have a pass. Uh, You're going. pass for you. Here's what I'll tell you, because listen, you've... Everybody's shaking Morgan their head Morgan will do yes. it. Morgan likes it. Everybody's shaking their head yes. Yeah. Do you... Um, I appreciate that you come and you own your um, flaws, I don't know, and, flaws and, yeah, and, and wimpiness and stuff. Okay. I, if you would like to know, I mentioned in our Grand Canyon story that there was more, but I didn't want to share it. Oh, do you want to know it? Yeah. I just watched that clip on Instagram and I'm dying to know. If you well, didn't poop your pants, what I, I happened? I would only say this because you've owned yours. And by the way, I said, women are just tougher than us. Here's what happened. We hike out. I told you already that we were not supposed to hike all the way out. We were supposed to hike four and a half miles, camp for the day, yep. and then the next morning go the rest of the way, which was another four and a half miles. The last four and a half miles of the Grand Canyon is just straight up a wall, right? Like, it's just, it's, it's intense, right? My wife has been encouraging me to get in shape for this hike for months. Yeah. She even has on a chalkboard in her house, like, 92 days until Grand Canyon. And I'm just like, you know... <laughs> Past the honey mustard. I've got chicken nuggets to eat, right? Um, oh, man. With three miles to go, I'm dowed down a cylinder. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put yeah. some, I, I, with three miles to go. That's and a, I know it's three miles is a freaking long way. It is a oh, long man. way. And now I'm down a cylinder. And three miles it's, is and hard, rough. flat. But now you're in a space where you can't stop. Exactly. There's nowhere to stop. I mean, you should have stopped can't. a mile and a half back. Right. Exactly. You, you're committed. You're, okay. you're pot committed at this point. <laughs> For the next mile and a half, there's a mile and a half rest house, um, and Lily is walking with me, and Gracie and Sarah are way in a way up. They're How doing far? well, as far as they want to be. Frankly, no, I'm going like, slow. Give me a hundred yards, two hundred. Oh yards. no, they're probably. Can you see they're them? They're probably a, no. I can't see them. Dang. Okay, so we get, but I do see them at the mile and a half. They've waited for about fifteen or twenty minutes for me to get there, and now with the mile, <laughs> and, and now and they're half, refreshed. Now in a mile and a half to go. I'm not only down a cylinder, but I don't have lug nuts on my wheels, and I'm struggling, and I got a mile and a half to go. They go on. Lily and I stand back. Lily, God bless her, she's 10 years old, and she's just, she's just there for support, moral mm-hmm. support. At a three-quarter she's mile. She's there for your life alert is what she's there for. <laughs> and I did. All right, so with three-quarter mile. 10-year-old saves man's life. <laughs> with three-quarter mile to go, I'm now dead on the apron. <laughs> <laughs> and and Sarah and Gracie have been out of the canyon now for a while, but they also it kicked their butt too. But they, you know, were, yeah. were so I text Sarah because now we're high enough to get cell service, and I'm like, I don't know, I I'm seeing three paths right now. I'm low on electrolytes. I can't. I'm dizzy. I'm like, are you being dramatic, Mike? Or are you no, serious? No, I, I I don't feel like I'm being dramatic. Here's the thing. <laughs> Much in the way Amy was your hero in that cryo tank. <laughs> Sarah, who is exhausted, goes to the store, 
buys snacks and hikes back down the trail and brings it to me. She's got time to go to the store and shop and no, come back? At, at the Grand Canyon uh, ca- Still. Ca- canteen. She, she brings <laughs> me snacks three-quarter mile down on the trail and hikes this thing again. My gosh. And, and brings me a Powerade and Snickers and, and things. I'm sitting there on the side of the trail. <laughs> That's, I can see Dale doing that. And she's that saying, too. what? <laughs> oh, uh, and I have no shame Let's in my Let's just game. see Mike doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I'm, just enjoy this. So don't put me in this. And meanwhile, <laughs> I'm not in the canyon. <laughs> meanwhile, Lily <laughs> has on her face, she's not saying it because she's too sweet, but she's on her face that says, this motherfucker. <laughs> Get your <laughs> together, Dad. I mean, God, you know. And so, and Sarah then says, "Do you want me to carry your pack out too?" Oh, oh she's like, basically no. saying in front of your kids, your slip is showing. But she was actually saying that out, out of concern. For you don't me. think that was like a encouraging? Get your ass up, let's go. Kind of a. And she would have been perfectly willing to do it. So basically, Sarah hiked. Nine and three quarter miles out of the Grand Canyon. She did the last part twice. Mm-hmm. Um, brought me snacks. I don't know if that's ever been done in the Grand Canyon Trail. I don't know if that's probably more than you know. And that was yeah. absolutely something that I was not prepared to tell anybody. But My this goodness. podcast has to be owning the owning the applause. And if it if it celebrates how awesome our wives are, I'm I'm here for it. Right. Yeah, that's right. So I like it, Mike. Thanks for being transparent. Amy, you have an open invitation to just take over this show anytime you want. Anytime you hear Dale or me even tell a story that you think isn't jiving with reality, which means every week we say, you know, our realities are skewed. You come in here and correct the record. She's I'm going to come in here that, and yeah. take out the trash. I'm going to just clean you right up. Hey, if you like that video, you'll love the entire podcast. The Dale Jr. Download, it's available on all major podcast platforms.